What's up, dudes? Driving back out of Manhattan over here. Sergio, I checked out Sergio Martinez is fighting Chavez Jr. So check that out, dudes. That's the Manhattan skyline. What Empire State Building is looking awesome tonight. If Sergio Martinez fights Chavez Jr., it's a big if. Now, as you all know, boxing, instead of looking at my big fat ugly mug, let's check out the Manhattan skyline. So, uh, yeah. They're starting to fight. And as you know, in boxing, things are crazy because this guy becomes champion, Chavez Jr. He's the heir apparent to uh, rock star boxing legacy. Because, you know, Chavez was the man back in the day. He lost to Frankie Randall, he started getting older. Yeah, Delahoya, Costa Zoo. But Chavez was the man. So son's fighting Sergio. Sergio Martinez is no joke, as you know. He knocked Paul Williams out cold. I believe it was in the second round. But anyway, Sergio Martinez versus Chavez Jr. Chavez Jr. hasn't showed me much. He's really never been tested. I think he fought Alfonso Gomez. This is all off the head, I'm driving. You know, I got no paperwork with me. It's crazy. And uh, After what is, I'll tell you guys what. Right, then keep this cop will pull me over in a heartbeat for holding an electronic device, but whatever. Anyway, Sergio Martinez keep right, is then keep left. a great fighter. I said a long time ago, he's kind of like a Spanish Roy Jones Jr. Sergio Martinez is really no joke. And Chavez Jr., in my opinion, he's really never been tested. We haven't seen much from him. Ahead. Keep left. So I can only assume that Sergio Martinez is going to put on a clinic. I think Chavez Jr. is a big, tall, lanky guy, but he fights like the old man once he's uh, he has trouble fight, finding the fighter. He goes inside, does his thing. He's okay. I think Sergio Martinez is in the upper echelon of boxing, even though he's like 37. And in September, I don't know how old he's gonna be. Let's say Sergio Martinez turns 40 that night. Chavez Jr. might have a chance. But dudes, I'm gonna give you my prediction. I think Sergio Martinez is gonna put on a clinic. I think he's gonna like, I think he's gonna just dominate the fight. I think he's gonna really spank Chavez Jr. I think the old man's gonna have some tequila on hand that night and bust out the tequila and start drinking when his son's getting beat down. I think he's gonna get spanked, all right? Sergio Martinez has all the tools, even at 37, because he started boxing late. He's a triathlon athlete. He's just an athlete all around, and he's really good, and Chavez Jr. finally has to step up. Now, if Chavez Jr. beats Sergio Martinez, I'll tell you what, I'll eat crow, because I don't see it happening. I see Sergio Martinez putting on a boxing clinic. It's going to be like a sparring session. I think Sergio Martinez is going to do what he wants to Chavez Jr. in September. I think he's going to dominate, guys. If I get a ticket, I'm going to be really mad because you're not supposed to drive while holding a camera. Anyway, so dudes, September, Sergio Martinez versus Chavez Jr. Chavez Jr. is going to lose for the first time in his career. That's my prediction. Sergio Martinez is going to put on a boxing clinic. He's going to dominate. He's going to infiltrate. He's going to take Chavez Jr. where he's never been taken before. And he's going to beat him up and down. Clean shots. I, I, I don't even think Chavez Jr. is going to survive. i never seen him really hurt. I think Chavez Jr. is going to be stopped in this fight. I think the old man might even stop the fight. He might throw in a towel. Because he's not going to want to see his little boy get beat up like this. So, guys, Sergio Martinez takes the fight. He's going to dominate even at his age. Push him 40 almost. And Chavez Jr. is in his 20s. He's basically a baby. I think Chavez Jr. is in way over his head on this one, dudes. So uh, I could be wrong. And I love my Mexican fighters. And I just don't see him beating Sergio Martinez. So that's my prediction, guys. Let's hope it's a good fight. And it would be a crazy upset if Chavez Jr. beats him. So dudes, keep watching. Check me out. And you know where to find me. Thanks, guys. Peace out, dudes. Peace. Boom. Oh, my God. Hey dudes, thanks for watching my videos. Yeah, you know I'm alright. You know, I gotta keep it interesting, but uh, I really appreciate everything. All the comments, all the regular dudes that are hitting me up, all the subscribers, um, all the boxing people out there. I'm always thumbing videos up. All boxing people I'm always giving support to, and that's no joke, you know? 
and um, if you want your channel featured on my channel and you, you have uh, related material, no problem. Uh, just write me, uh, PM me, and I'll, I'll, I'll hang your stuff right on my channel as a featured channel, and I won't expect anything else in return. Um, just shouts out to everybody, and let's hope boxing gets better and MMA is awesome. So we'll just see both sports because they're both great. And uh, I just love the fight game and video games and all that good stuff. So dudes, keep on checking me out. And I'll just keep on putting out content on this channel that hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, everybody. Have a great week. And uh, I'm about to go watch Showtime Boxing tonight and ESPN Friday night at the fights. Hopefully this video will be uploaded by Saturday morning. It probably will. Peace out, everybody. Peace, dudes. Oh, one more thing. How can I forget? Uh, actually, a couple people found the channel already. Uh, yeah, I have another channel that I'd like you guys to know about. It's uh, my haunted, my paranormal activity channel. Yeah, um, your boy's haunted. My house is haunted, so if you want to become haunted, you go to that channel. It's QQQ Toxic QQQ. I'll have a link down right here as I'm talking. So if you got this far in the video, thanks. And yeah, you want to go over there and check that out and uh, help me out. You know, if you got any advice on uh, what should I do to get these ghosts out of my crib and out of my life, something you don't know about, as you know, you tell me. It's crazy. So uh, you guys have a great, great weekend and an awesome week. I'll be back real soon. Again, uh, peace out to the entire fight community. Peace, dudes and dudettes.